Hey everybody, I uh, figured I'd go through and show how to correctly use a server power supply with some random parts I got laying around just as visuals here. So you want to use your traditional ATX power supply to run your motherboard, two power cables there for motherboard, uh, run your fans, run your hard drives, maybe even a couple of GPUs. You want to power the GPU itself with that power supply and then also the riser off of that same power supply. So if you're, if you're using one power supply for the GPU, use the same one for the riser. Don't want to mix and match that. That's important. The data cable that goes across doesn't carry any power, so you're good. You're not mixing anything there. Same power supply for GPU itself and the riser. Cool. Let's move over. So now with the server power supply, it's the actual power supply itself. Get yourself a breakout board. Some of these cables here, six pin. They're six pin to eight pins. You can see the extra eight pin there. Again, use just using an old video card for reference. So you're gonna wanna use one cable to power your riser and the other cable to power the GPU itself. Just laying there because it doesn't have a plug. Don't judge me. Then you just have your riser cable that goes over to the motherboard. Again, it doesn't carry power, just data, so you're safe. You've now kept this power supply from connecting to that power supply. You don't want 12 volt going to the GPU from this one and then getting the riser power from that one. So one GPU and riser per power supply. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.